Hello and welcome along and welcome back to a whole macro. We are heading down to our shop at the moment, down our uh, rather steep roadway. Um, because after last time and after asking you guys what we should do, uh, lots of people said uh, yes, go for the upgrade. Work with your uh, work with your current area, upgrade your equipment a bit, and uh, and do that way, go that way. So that's what we're doing. We're heading down in the TLX at the moment. Uh, this is really straight. It's like a roller coaster down this road. Um, and as you can see, we have nothing on the back of the TLX for once. Uh, because uh, there were a couple of suggestions last time that I kind of went, yes, I think we should do that. So, uh, yeah, we're going to look at doing those at this time. We've got a fair amount of horsepower uh, in this TLX, I think. Uh, we will have a quick look at that, but the alternative is the uh, the other version. So this has 280 horsepower. Uh, if we were to go, and uh, so we got the single cab, the single cab 6.7 litre, which uh, is 36,000, that has 450 horsepower. I'm really, really tempted to spend the... Uh, well, what is the difference? The difference would be, uh, yeah, <clears throat> would be that we'd be able to sell this for nearly thirty thousand, uh, our current one, and uh, and and get thirty six thousand. Although with the upgrades, it's going to be a little bit more. So we'll see whether the, our current one can handle it for now. What I'm looking to buy down here, though, is uh, the flatbed. Because the flatbed comes with the three-point hitch in it, uh, which will be massively useful to us for what we want to do next. So let's grab the flatbed. The flatbed is 3,500. And the thing is, if we upgrade this, then we're going to be able to uh, to get... Uh, we're going to be able to use all of these backs that we've got already. So we've either got diamond plate or rubber. I am going to go with diamond plate. Uh, now, we've got lots of colour choices. I think we had the olive before. Is our main colour on our truck? Yeah, I think we've got the olive. Olive, oh yeah, okay. And uh, lighting, standard, work lights, both. There we go, 5,200 for the flatbed. So we're going to buy that. And then, the reason why we're buying the flatbed and we've come, back, uh, come down here and everything is because somebody suggested a trailer to me and it is this one the versatile transport trailer 8000 um but what we can do with this is we can change it uh we can make it a nurse trailer which would add fuel to it but i'm not worried about that uh i want to go triple axle uh, i want to go uh wide tires because that raises it slightly uh flat deck or ramps or dovetail uh i'm just gonna for now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go flat deck um but that that is something we can change we can change the length of it wow okay so yeah we definitely want to go flat deck uh i'm gonna lengthen it to a 30 uh, I'm going to add some mud guards. We're going to keep it as gooseneck. Uh, extras, uh, side rails, no, log poles. We can put log poles on this trailer, which just makes it so very, very useful. Uh, main colour, we want the olive, I think. Yeah, we'll get it in the olive. Uh, design colour, we want to go for the deer yellow. And then the rim colour, we, uh, I think we'll leave it as it is, as the uh, stainless steel. Yeah, that will do. Perfect. So that's 14,100 for this trailer. So we'll buy that. Yes. Okay. Right. So this now should mean that not only can we hook up to gooseneck trailers with the TLX, uh, we can also transport longer wood. And if we wanted to transport the Huddick, although that is where I think we would need the 450 horsepower on this. 
Uh, I don't think the 280 is going to cut it. So there's our deck. And then what we want to do is hook this up here. Like so. And we should be able to now, so if I bring up this menu here, unfold trailer puts up the log. So here we go. This is our new logging setup. I do love this TLX. This is an absolutely cracking piece of kit. What we can do with this on a forestry setup is brilliant. I think I'd be more inclined to get the larger version of this truck. Uh, if we were doing... Uh, if we were... Wow. That's not going to work. Uh, if we were going uh, uphill uh, with a lot of logs on the back of here. As we're mainly doing downhill stuff, uh, we should be alright. Oh, wow, that only just fits in there. I think we're going to have to try and cut a tree from the other side. The biggest trouble we've got is that the other side is not owned by us at the moment. It's just this area here. Uh, and we've got, uh, yeah, we're going to take some bigger trees down today, I think. So uh, let's have a go with that and see how we get on. Actually, let's let's not put this down here for the moment. Let's get some trees cut. Uh, let's uh, then we can load them up. Uh, bring this in and load them up. Uh, but uh, I think we could go probably at least eight to ten meters now on our uh, on our trees. So we'll give that a go and see how it is. And, uh, and yeah, we're basically going to clear the area around our logging camp. I think the edge of our camp is about where this is in that direction. Let's have a quick look on the map. And the edge of our logging camp, yeah, we're right on the edge of it here. You see, we own really quite a small area. Um, but doing larger wood and larger logs uh, means that we should make a lot more money. So let's start her up. And switch over. We want to increase the length of our cutter. So let's bring this forward. We will. What do we have on here? No options on there. Let's switch over to the back. Uh, and we should be able to alter the cut length on this. Right. Maybe now that we've cut it, it will show me the option for this. So we'll switch over. And it still doesn't. There is a way to do this, and I can't remember what it is. Because that is cutting fairly long lengths. But it's still not. We've adjusted it. We have definitely adjusted that cut length, though. By pressing. Uh, I think I know which button I pressed to do that. But, uh, yeah. Right. So now we've got the backhoe con uh, controlled. We can actually control uh, a lot more with this. Let's see if we can crack up to this one. Oop. And back it in. Cut. Take it that way. Oh, it does want to go this way. Sometimes it's not easy to get these cuts to go right. But these lengths are good. These lengths are good. I'm happy with them for the most part. 
We're going to pick up the smaller stuff and uh, and get it to move. Uh, but we just, I want to basically any tree that is fully grown, we are going to take in this area. I think I think, I think that increases the cut length. I think we'll, what we'll do is we'll give this a try. Again, so I'm gonna chop it, turn it, so that falls there, and we'll try cutting different lengths. So, okay, press in the button again, see if that changes. That has, yeah, that has, I think. It's one of those things where, because it doesn't always show you all the information, uh, it can be a little bit annoying from that point of view. Right, I'm going to cut some more trees, then we'll get this loaded up and uh, and continue from there. But certainly, we're, we're working to get bigger logs on here now. I think I've finally worked out what the controls are for the uh, various, or oh, to change the cut length. Still no idea on here uh, how to see what the cut length is, which is very, very annoying. There's no way cycling through any of these uh, where it will show it to me. Uh, which, uh, yeah, I, I kind of wish it would, uh, because at the moment I'm having to, to guess where I am. However... Uh, you can see we've got some fairly decent cut lengths here. These will go well. Um, we've got some really long ones over here uh, that we'll try and load up first, I think. Uh, but in general, I'm pretty happy with this. This should load up fairly well. So uh, we're going to jump back in here. Uh, turn that off. Bring that up. Bring that down. And bring it across. So that's out of the way. Uh, and then switch over to our front grapple and hopefully get some of these cleared up. Yeah, there we go. Uh, now, the one thing I do probably need to do before we go and do this is just grab this and get rid of these stumps uh, because they are absolutely going to be in our way and they're all over the place. We've got quite a lot of, uh, of trees here. Quite a lot of um, uh, logs to load up. Should be a really decent amount of money we get off this. So hopefully we're going to see what it does. So this is the last of the stumps. We'll get that done. Uh, I think the other thing we probably need to do is there's a couple of smaller bits like this. I feel like a pickup. We have a look at this. This is 13 and a half kilograms. So yeah, I think uh, bits like this we can pick up. Consensus seemed to be that uh, if I was dragging them, we could probably go to about 50. Uh, if I'm picking them up like this, then we, uh, oh yeah, so we can't go more than 50 kg. But small bits like this we want to get rid of. So what I'm going to do is bits like this, we cut them in half, then we go and pick them up and we've got a much more manageable 20 to 30 kg which makes a lot more sense plus uh they'll go into here a lot easier as well so if we clear up these smaller bits that we don't want first um we can get them out of the way so basically anything uh, i would say anything under 100 kilograms especially with the length of wood we're now dealing with uh, that wants to be uh, that wants to be in here in our chipper uh, so you can see here that one is 258 
That one is 157. That one is 279. This one here is tiny. That's 11. So, yeah. Next job then, as you can see, is to basically load up our wood chipper with all of this wood uh, that is no good to us. Uh, that is not going to earn us a huge amount of money. That's 65, so it needs cutting in half. Making it two more manageable weights. Yeah. And yeah, I'd say 50 kg is going to be my limit for picking up a log. Um, I know with the way we've got with the lumberjack and with the way that the wood works on this map, we can actually do larger. But uh, I think for realism's sake, we want to be uh, limiting ourselves to 50 kilograms. Because that's, that's quite a weight, 50 kilograms. So, uh, yeah, we're going to limit ourselves to that. And uh, get this all collected up. Anything over 100, so 158, 285, 263. Anything like that, that will go. And uh, that is 140. 45, but the length of that is massive. So I'm just going to cut that one into two sections. Or into three sections, sorry. Similarly with that one. And all of these can go in our chipper. That's still 82. That's 39. Okay. Wow. So we could probably cut that lock in half. And, uh, and it gone in oh well that would be some nice uh, wood chips and we are going to deal the reason why I'm not setting the wood chips up uh, fully is because once we've got this trailer and done this job uh, we've got a new piece of kit that I want to get for the wood chips as well um, we're going bigger all round on here and, uh, and I think it's going to help us in the long run earn a lot more money Right, I think I've cleared out most of the uh, smaller wood. Let's back this up. And, uh, and make some access. This is a very, very big piece of equipment to get a very, very small single piece of wood. But you can see this is so the length I've got here, that is about right for what we want to put onto this log trailer. Uh, and I think that's about the length we've got on most of our wood around here, which is uh, which is very good. The wood is all a little bit um, spread out and among various bits, but should be okay. This one's going to be fun because it's between two trees. So bring it out, bring it round, and this is this is a lot longer. This this is probably this must be about. And the trouble is, I can't tell because we don't know from our uh, thing. But I reckon we've got to be maybe ten meter logs at this point, maybe eight. Um, eight would be good. I'd be happy if we were putting eight meter logs in. The longer we, uh, the longer the wood that we put in, the uh, the more money we make for it. So it would be good if we were doing some seriously long legs. We've got so while I was uh, experimenting, I did get two really long pieces of wood here. So uh, we might try and get those on. We need to get the stuff off the top of them first. Is the only thing. So, there's no easy way to do that. Oh, yes there is. Just come at it from the other side. Let's get this round here. Presuming we can get round here. Yeah, there we go. Plenty of space. And we can start getting at these ones here and these ones again really long logs that we 
god at this point. From playing from playing around with the settings, we got a couple of really long cuts out. But I'm hoping are still gonna fit on our trailer. Might stick out the back a little bit. Now, it's gonna be fun to load on considering the limited space we have to manoeuvre. There we go. Ah, oh, that's fine. Plenty of space. These should make a lot of money. A lot of money. As you can see the extra length out the back that they have. Good. They still fit. They still fit on this trailer. That is. Now, do we have straps? Yes, we do. That is good. But got an issue where I need to get into there. So I'm going to pull this back to here. Park this up underneath our bit here. There we go. That gives us more space to manoeuvre with the hubby and allows me to load more of these onto it. Our last couple of uh, logs to go on. I think we can fit two more maybe on the top. Yeah, I think we fit two more on the top. Um, I cut those really, really long lengths in half uh, just so that I could um, get them on here properly. The fact that in half means that they're uh, they're now the right length for the trailer. This I think cut stuff really really long if you set it. Um, I, uh, I as I said though the the thing that's annoying me about it at the moment is the fact that I cannot see what the cut length is. Uh, I would really really like to see that, but this is uh, wow. We are going to be pushing our TLX to the limit here. I think. Ooh. If we lift that up, I'm going to get this right on the top. There's a space for this stuff just there. So let's see if we can unload it into the right spot. Is it going to go into the right spot? Yes, there we go. So open it up a bit more. Back it off slowly. And there we go. We are opening this up. We have got still a lot of money around here, though. Uh, so, uh, yeah. But that is really good. So let's strap this down. And, uh, yeah, last time we uh, took stuff down there, we made about 12, 13,000, I think. Uh, I am expecting a much, much bigger take home from this lot. Um, this is this is quite a large amount of logs we have on here. We'll bring these round here. Hopefully we can get this around this tree. But this should now be a lot more cash, and uh, a lot more cash is going to be good for us. And hopefully uh, we've got something we should be able to do. Well, I've got two choices. We can either get a new trailer. Oh, man. Yeah, we are going to have to take some trees out on the other side here, which means buying the area on the other side of our... Uh, on the other side of the track. Uh, but, uh, yeah, whether I get a new trailer for wood chips or whether we stick with our with our current bit that we can put on this and do a second route, uh, that, is, that is the big question for me at the moment. Uh, but we'll see how we go. Let's get these logs back down to uh, the sell point though and see how much this is going to be worth to us because uh, yeah I think we're now in a position where we're making a lot more money in one go uh, with each time we cut a load of trees down as I suspected the TLX had no problem at all making it down there when when we are going downhill um, I think if I'd had to pull this uphill, we'd have had a bigger problem. Uh, has worked fine, though. Using my beacons, because we've got a lot of wood on here. But 
let's get this into our cell area and see how much this is worth. So, uh, unstrap that, unstrap that, unstrap that, and unstrap that. How much are we going to make? 34,000. Over three times what we were making previously. That is huge. So that is a massive difference. And also, that is twice what we spent uh, getting this new setup. So uh, that is awesome. That is absolutely brilliant. I am so, so pleased with that. Um, and in on that fact, actually, I think that's a really good place for us to end. So uh, we will be back here in a week's time uh, trying to do some more wood. Now making a lot of money. Uh, we'll see how quickly we can expand into the rest of the forest. For now, though, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for all the latest videos from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel, ring that bell, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.